This is Togoshi Ginza Shoten Gai, a shopping district running through a community tucked inside the Shinagawa area of Tokyo known as Togoshi. Today in this part of town, the local residents take part in a yearly Japanese tradition of celebration, carrying the Mikoshi. One of the valued residents here in Togoshi happens to be a legendary rock guitarist in Japan, Char. Char's son, Jesse, has also established himself as a famous musician. Jesse's band, Rise, has sold millions of records, and although he has also recorded hip-hop music over the years, he recently released his first solo album, The Stand Up Project, and has been taken to the stage as a solo Japanese and English bilingual MC. In this episode of The Shucks Files, we get a glimpse into the home life and music of Jesse McFadden. My name is Jesse McFadden, and he's my uh, father. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We represent the little town in Shinagawa called Togoshi. In Tokyo. In Tokyo. Once a year, when I get together, drink, and do the Mikoshi, and go nuts. Yes, I mean, I guess it's a small town hype. You know, we don't have too much going on. Everyone looks forward to it. Well, first, I was in love with breakdancing. You know, like, I, I love to move. I like to, the windmill, all the crazy thing. Like, when I was a teenager, I thought that shit was crazy. That just blew me away. And you didn't need to buy anything. If you had a set player, then I could have done anything. Breaking, like b-boy breaking, like that was the whole concept, like breaking my knowledge, break, breaking my like theory, like what, what, what I thought it was correct, hip-hop broke it, you know, all you need is a one loop and a message, you know, and like an MC is a master of ceremony, he's not a rapper. When I was 16, I was in the construction working, made my own money, and I bought my turntable. And then I became hooked on, you know, DJing, like, to not get it tracks to tracks, like, like no one heard it, like, you know, from Mini Ripitin to Jimi Hendrix, like, not just hip hop, but the whole turntable was another death mode for me. Hip hop is the message, like, Kara Swan, Rakeem. You know, like JD Kiss, all all good, like messengers. You know, and that's the kind of MC that I like. You know. Tell us, tell us, tell us what's going on, Jesse. What's going on? We're going back to the headquarters. We take this Mikoshi back to the home. And we went around the, this town, Nichome, this is our city. We went around every house, gave the hope, and we're taking it back to the house. At, and at the end, we're gonna throw the rice crops to everybody. So stay tuned, man. This is the climax.
We're at my uh, um, house studio. Ma, it's my studio. It's called Purple Brain. And uh, this whole stand-up project, we had a um, contest at this uh, site called Get Stage. Zuzu, he only had two votes. But uh, I listened to it deep, and most of the people, they only remixed one track. He remixed all tracks, 11 whole tracks. It was gonna go out as hip-hop until I met Zuzu. And Zuzu was the only producer that made it all rock. It just blew me away. So this whole stand-up project, I'm gonna go by Jesse this time. But I, all these 11 tracks was made by Bones. It was made by me, this is making 250 and behind. Eventually I want to make this whole project, stand-up project, as Bones project. And he will be my guitarist. And uh, yeah, like, this is Jesse's solo project, but my band will be the Bones. It's not like American Idol, this is Street Idol, you know, like, we will make street dreams come true. We sell dreams, that's our job, and uh, I like to take my dreams to the next level. Just strength can hurt you. Just music won't reach you. The music and strength, there's hope, man. For real. I, I